Hello, Jonathan here, Prince of the Interwebs, and, um, let's see. Today may not be Frog 500, but we're going to pretend it is. Now, while I was in the shower, I decided to give a code name to the app that I'm going to make. I'm going to call it code name Lithiometer, uh, for now, I think. Um, or maybe it's pronounced Lithiometer, I don't know. But, um, I should look into that. <laughs> um, but it's symbolic. It's symbolic, basically, at this point. The app will probably not be called Alethiometer because, frankly, not very many people will know what that is. I'm also debating whether this is a thing that I should develop alone or enlist the help of lots and lots of people. Once I draw out the design elements, I think it'd be pretty easy to get people on board and see the value in it and actually get people to help out. And that would mean that Project Alethiometer would come out much faster than it would otherwise. And I want it to be out really fast because it's a tool that I want to use, like now. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, how does ownership, how do you, how am I going to pay these people? How does this all work? Because I'll be perfectly honest, I don't have a funding model in mind for it yet. I have a couple that I'm thinking of, but there's a lot of them that I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to rush and make an inferior thing just for the sake of getting it out faster and because I need money. I also want to set it up so it can't be bought by people. Um, basically, I don't want some big company, <coughs> Google, buying it up and either ruining it or doing nothing with it. It's that good of an idea. One of the problems with startups, although some people might think of it as a great, awesome thing, is that when you get investment, sometimes that investment comes at a condition, actually often it does, that once your company or whatever, or your startup is worth enough, you sell it to another big, bigger company, or that's the end goal. Um, I don't really want that to be the end goal for this thing. I'm at Davison's right now, and what? I'm really cold. What? Oh. So <laughs> I have this blanket and a hoodie, and it's really cold in here because the windows in this apartment are not very good. And it's cold outside. So this guy started a website called Send Your Enemies Glitter, or Ship Your Enemies Glitter, rather, dot com. And um, the idea is that you'd pay $10 to ship your enemies glitter. And uh, this website would send an envelope of glitter to the people who you don't like. Um, for some unknown reason, the person who made this website just um, out of the blue decided to um, stop because he couldn't handle all the orders. And instead of just hiring someone else to fulfill more orders or raising the prices so he'd have less orders, he just stopped and said, eh, fuck it, I'm going to sell this company I just made. What? Some people are really good at ruining the successes that they make. But anyway, so that's what this guy did. And in response, we're making our own website called actually ship or actually ship your enemies glitter.com. And, uh, yeah, this is happening. I'm back in the apartment in the nice and warm environment. And um, yeah, Davison's boyfriend gave me a lift back that made things easier because it's really cold outside. And um, I'm going to be doing some editing and trying to promote our <laughs> glitter website. And I am at Gabe's place now. Hello. I didn't, it's cold. It's cold, so he's under a blanket. I didn't vlog the fact that I was coming here because I was in a big hurry, so. Turn the heater up, turn the heater up. I'll turn the heater up, yes. How do I do this? Just do it towards six. Uh, where's six? The number's faded up. Which way do I turn it? That way or that way? The, towards the door. We're now playing Tales of Symphonia. Um, <laughs> we just froze a lake, and Gabe is going to the bathroom right now. What is happening with my hair? No. I think we're gonna comment on comments in the morning, because I'm really, really tired. All right, it's morning. We can comment on comments now because we're not exhausted. There was actually only one comment. It was from Bert. Let me show you what that comment was, or I can just read it to you. That comment said, no, I'm going to show you. Bert says, Jonathan, why did you stop asking us questions? Uh, 
Uh, that's a question. Probably at some point I became really tired one night and I was just like, I don't feel like coming up with a question, but, um, okay. Let, let's come up with a question. Gabe, do you have any questions? <laughs> Is it cold where you are right now? Is it cold where you are right now? Around here it's like minus 16 degrees. Yeah, here Celsius. it's awful. Um, yeah. How's minus 16 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Who use a converter? I don't know. Yeah. What's well, cold? It's really cold. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here because it's already tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.